Are you looking to purchase a new home or refinance your current home with rates at all-time lows? Maybe take some equity out to pay off current debt or remodel? Or maybe you are a first-time home buyer and want to see if you qualify for financing. Reach out to Sun Street Mortgage, where you will find an experienced loan officer who will give you solid mortgage advice. Sun Street is a full-service, locally-owned mortgage lender, headquartered right here in the Old Pueblo. So take the street that leads you home, Sun Street Mortgage. AZBK number 0907366, NMLS number 145171. Sun Street Mortgage LLC is an Eagle Housing Lender. Hey Kev, the client needs that document ASAP. I'm trying, but the internet is so slow. With 99.9% network reliability from Cox Business, nothing can hold you back. Visit coxbusiness.com for details. You're listening to Wake Up Tucson. This podcast is a Bustos Media production on The Voice. Be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Eight oh seven in the morning. Frank Sinatra. He's always on third hour, but it's a Rat Pack Friday. If you missed anything on the show, go to kvoi dot com. We started the show by scaring the hell out of you with all of the amazing crime going on in Tucson. Uh, we, Sean McCluskey, welcome, sir. Hey, how we all doing? We uh, we talked about the uh, guy who jumped into the tortoise exclo- enclosure. Thought it was the elephant. Verification. He it was not the elephant. It was the it was the big giant. Turtle. We got misreporting by Tucson by finest. Okay, well, no, that makes no, sense. No, that's, uh, Twitter was misreporting. Yes, then, yeah. so that the wasn't their fault. So it was the turtle. Then we had the guy robbing the batteries plus with a machete again. Right. Then we had the SunTran van running over the actual enclosure with people in it. Don't that for, were waiting for the SunTran van. Don't forget the guy who <laughs> stole the fire truck. Well, <laughs> him too. Right. <laughs> Remember then the machete guy who ripped off the Burlington Coat Factory at oh, yeah. Ocon Mall. Mm-hmm. Machetes are big. This is the year of the machete. I just want to tell everyone <laughs> that. Thank you. And then at the same time, uh, we also, so that was the first segment. Then we uh, played um, Rex Scott on uh, Bill Buckmaster's show, either relaying erroneous information or lying to a listener who called up about, uh, those bonuses that our friend Joanne's been talking about the last couple of the times. The COVID this week. bonuses, the fifty two hundred, fifty two forty, I believe it was. Yeah, or fifty one forty. One of those. He said it happened before they got on the board of supervisors, which is untrue. It was actually April through July third pay period. Just recently. Oh uh, no, it was no, last year, twenty first. Well, he was in office, so maybe he didn't know. Maybe Rex forgot when he was in office, which is possible. Who knows? Maybe it wasn't written down. Maybe it just won't show up anywhere. You never know. So, and then of course we had CJ Ham and Sean last hour where we just riffed about pastel shirts. Hey, it's my thing. Garlic bread, all the important things in life. Sartorial so, shaming. Sartorial. Sh- wow, again, big words today. Love it, <laughs> Sean. Uh, who are these people? Uh, one I rec- Well, I can actually recognize two of them, but why don't you do the intros? And NBC. Three of them. <laughs> we brought back NBC Miranda Brewing Club uh, because number one, Patrick and Fernando focus on local, and we're all about local. We love local food, yep. love local places, and they brought Olivia from Frankie's Cheesecake up in the Northwest. Cheesesteak. Uh, cheesesteak. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm thinking cheesecake. Hey, can't, can't, can't go wrong with cheesecake and. <laughs> Cheesesteak. Uh, Frankie's cheesesteak. Is there Similac in cheesecake? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> but if there was, I could feed it to the baby if the baby would eat it. The baby's not here yet, so we're working on it. Um, and it's glad, I'm glad that they brought, them, brought her up because every time you and I talk about this, we talk about this a lot on air, off air. Whenever we go up there to, to Frankie's, you're there. And when you're there, you're always number one happy. Olivia's like the happiest person in the world. Do you, sure. do you get days off? That's a question. Two, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken me a while. <laughs> and she always remembers what you're going to get. And you always get the same thing. You get the Frankie's cheesesteak on a salad. Salad. And go from there. And she gives you a water and iced tea. You both. don't get soda. Sometimes, no you fries. know, both peppers, broccoli rob. She knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Patrick, Fernando, Olivia, all of you, welcome. Yes. Miranda Brewery Club, again, it's on Facebook and on Thank the website. Hello. Thank you. So, talk about your, uh, Olivia, talk about your start at, how long you been doing, I guess, uh, hospitality, restaurant, bar stuff? I have been floating around restaurants in Tucson for the last seven years. Okay. Seven or so. Um, how old are you, if I may ask? 27. All right. Next week. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> so, how did the uh, the Frankie's journey start? So I was bartending at a restaurant in Oro Valley called Growler USA, and I met the owner. He was a regular of mine then. He has a strange name, which I didn't remember, <laughs> so that helped. <laughs> um, and when COVID hit, I was floating around and 
couldn't find a full time job, and he was putting in the new one on Ina and Thornydale, and he couldn't find a full time employee. Gave me a call, and I've been there since. So day one. And you really had no idea about the other Frankies, the no original idea. Frankies. He goes, I own Frankies. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> <All> right. <clears throat> well, Frankie's original on Campbell, our good friend, rest his soul, is no longer with us, Frankie. And they he, they sold it. When Frankie sold it, you and I bought mm-hmm. had like, it was like a funeral was happening. We're like, oh, God, the new people are going to take over. It's not going to be the same. And I would almost tend to say that it's gotten better. And I didn't think that was possible. Because the one up on the Northwest was just killing it when it mm-hmm. came out. So right out the gate, you guys are doing great. It's just a lot more modern. I mean, that building was old. It's true. You know. true. Well, it's, still, what, it's still closed right now. Well, what's not better, made better by a bar? This yeah. is true, too. So. Because when you guys first opened, the bar wasn't there. Because I remember sitting where the bar was in a table with so you and we had lunch. My concern, whenever there's second location, right, are the standards going to be the same? Mm-hmm. Right? So Danny, who owns Hueto Canelo. He told me when he opened up that one on Grant and Oracle, he had nightmares for two years while he was going to bed because he didn't know if that one was going to keep up with what he was doing on 12th, right? So when Frankie's opened up, when Dorian, the guy with a funny name, opened up the second one, right? And I knew Dorian was from Philly. He kind of had that that appreciation for what was going on, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'd go to the – when there was two locations, I live in Oral Valley, so it's closer to go see you guys. I was like, oh, the standards are – exactly what I expect from the Campbell one and you guys have maintained it even after Campbell's closed I mean I think it's still just as good as it was in the old days I think so too yep. and after realizing how good the sandwiches were I was just frustrated that I didn't know about it beforehand <laughs> I've been missing out on good sandwiches for years oh uh, you're one of those northwest <laughs> kids who doesn't go south of uh, river right oh. is that true it yes. was <laughs> that's okay it's dangerous down there with machetes and crap <laughs> So, um, so right now you you moved over to the they, they, uh, Dorian put in a full bar in, mm-hmm. and how's that going? It's been awesome. <laughs> e- every day people are realizing that that's there. It's getting busier and busier, and you notice in repeat people coming back, <laughs> which makes me really happy. Regulars make the world go round, you know. So why are you good at your job? Is I it, love it, my job. Is it upbringing? Did your parents teach you? My mom's in sales. <laughs> I feel like it's the same thing. But right. I, all I do is talk to people all day. I talk about beer. I talk about food. I talk about cheesesteaks. <laughs> and they pay me for it. So, I mean, what could be better? So, when we were hiring guys and girls in the hotel business, and people would say, why do you have these? We, we, we always had a good group of kids and people working for us. And I would say, we're looking for manners that were taught by their parents. Mm-hmm. Because if they don't have that, it's going to be a tougher road to teach them, quote, customer service if they don't have it in the basics. And I think that's what your mom did with you. Well, thank you. (laughs) Patrick, I've got one for you. What is your favorite thing to get when you go to Frankie's? Uh, You know what? Newly, I just tried your chicken Philly Southwest. The the South Philly chicken and cheese. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. That was definitely uh, delicious. Talk on the mic, but you're you're turning your head because you think you're Um, on a normal conversation. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The Philly... uh, Chicken Southwest Philly South steak Philly chicken was, was was outstanding. I think Fernando's the one that recommended recommend me to, to get it, and uh, it definitely went good with the beer that I ordered from you. And uh, I recommend it for anyone that goes in there to order that. It's one of those unique things. We put, we put broccoli rob in there, and everyone walks in and they go, "What's broccoli rabe?" Yeah. You know, and I'm like, "What is that?" <laughs> I'm a goomba, so we made broccoli rob in the house all the time. So th- there was the idea that after we moved here from New York. And then I saw Frankie Santos at the Originals was serving Broccoli Rob. I went, I got someone's making mm-hmm. Broccoli Rob again? <laughs> Holy crap, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, what's your favorite sandwich right now? I, I push the South Philly chicken <laughs> and cheese on everybody. <laughs> you know, for the first year, I was I was all over the cheesesteaks. But I'm there, I was there six days a week and I needed to, you know, <laughs> slow, slow my roll on the steak. But honestly, the whole menu is good. Okay. It's nice yes. to brag and enjoy all of it. Fried green beans. Agreed. That's all I got to say. Those they are have good. fried green beans on the menu. One of my favorites. The wife likes them. That's how I got to like them because she likes them. So. Mm-hmm. Well, you hear people all the time like, oh, green bean. Don't knock it until you try it. it. <laughs> Shut up and try it. Yeah, it's really yep. good. <laughs> Those are great. And like I said, so when I brought Matt Russell to my Kung Fu noodle on Campbell, okay. right? The first thing we ordered was a plate of their green beans. And you're like, what are we having? <laughs> right, and it is—it's just a giant pile of charred green green beans with this with with chilies, uh, chilies, different kind of chilies, and you just eat that with your chopsticks like it's like candy. Mm. It's amazing 
Maddie, watch your phones, buddy. Uh, 790-2040 is the phone number. Let's go to break. We'll do one more segment with uh, Olivia from Philly Cheesesteak and the boys from the Morana Brewery Club. Frankie's, not Philly. Frank- <laughs> Philly is just we're disgusting. Here, we're, we're here to support each other. So <laughs> we'll do one more segment of this, and then Sean and I are going to get in trouble the last half hour, and we're going to freeform. Never. <laughs> when him and I freeform with no actual plan, that's usually when management gets a call. So it'll be good. She's gone for the day. She still gets calls. She's got a voice got <laughs> Wake, <laughs> Wake up, Tucson, 1030 The Voice. <laughs> All right, Rat Pack Friday here on Wake Up Tucson. Sean McCluskey, Rincon Ventures, RVRTO.com. Find out more about uh, real estate, buying real estate, selling real estate, and, of course, if you have a, car, a house that needs to be rented by a pro, give me a call. Rincon Ventures. Um, so, Sean, you blocked out a good portion of your day for an event that's uh, happening uh, yeah. seven days later. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> if it's a work thing, my calendar's never wrong. If it's a social thing, it might be off by a week, and I'm off by a week. <laughs> so be it. Darn, I get two Saturdays off. I'm so, actually working late tomorrow. But uh, next Saturday, not this Saturday, people, next Saturday, the 21st, Patrick, what are we doing? Uh, Miranda Brewery Club is having an event at El Charo Cafe. Yeah, at Oracle? On Oracle Road. Okay. And we ask we attend you know ask the members to show up and have an event there. We have free raffle prizes that are usually the prizes are are, are donated by the other establishments in the club, and we raffle them off to for free at at, at the event. Nice. Uh-huh. All Patrick wants you to do is show up and support the local places that he supports. If you join Marana Brewery Club, it costs you twenty bucks. You get a little card. You present that card. You save ten percent off of most um, restaurants as long as it's not during one of their specials. If it's a happy hour or a special, you're not going to save any money because they're already losing money. So they're go not out losing and support money. them. Shush. <laughs> we play along. <laughs> and uh, so for twenty dollars, you get invited to a monthly party. This month's party is going to be at El Charo and last month we did, uh, was it last month or two months ago when you did the steel box guitar? The cigar box? That was, uh, we still have that by the way. Um, we're saving no. that for a big raffle prize. Uh, when we turn nonprofit, I'm going to save that for a, a, okay. a, a, a raffle, but it's a beautiful guitar. That I know I got a gift card last time, so that was good. All that I do is show up and order a drink. I got a free gift card. It was amazing. <laughs> I Look like at this you. program. Look at you. Uh, what do you guys want to do with this thing? Where well, do you want to go? I, I think I want to take it uh, where we do have different chapters, you know, and, and be able to, once we start a nonprofit and decide what our, what's our charity and be, uh, the money's going to be donated to, uh, I would definitely like to uh, keep it going and supporting other businesses in different parts of the state or, or even, even Tucson. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's so much to talk about what the club does because there's so many different branches of what the club does. Like, for, for example, we have musicians in the group that we support that join the club. And it, it goes together with they play at these establishments. So we hit – it's a two-in-one. We go to that establishment to support them, and we're supporting that musician too that's there also. So it's a win-win situation. And that's just one branch of what the club does. You know, it, it, we can sit here probably a good hour just talking about what we do. But That sounds fascinating, but, yeah, yeah. but we're not going to do that. Right, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's two or three other things that you think you guys do well? I think well, what we do well, uh, we do a lot of networking in the group, uh, not intentionally, but uh, definitely that's in our mission statement. Uh, we have a lot of business owners from different areas of not just restaurants um, that we trade do uh, trade work or um just, you know, if you're looking to a plumber or someone that works on air conditioning, we have those businesses in the group, and some of those businesses do offer discounts to the members. So, so you're almost becoming like a uh, beer-drinking uh, chamber of commerce <laughs> networking group. Except it's fun. Makes they sense. throw parties. Yeah, except it's fun. Parties. Big Christmas party at the end of the year, and it's a, it's a win-win situation. You meet great people, all sorts of people. The other thing they do is they celebrate the bartender. So bartender of the mm-hmm. month last month was Olivia. Um, bartender okay. of the month this month we haven't determined. They haven't determined yet. But at the end of the year, they have a bartender's basically of the month dinner. So they celebrate it, and all the bartenders and their wives get to go and have our significant others get to go Correct. and have uh, a meal, and Patrick and the group, and they support it, and it's just a good, fun time. Where did you take them last year? Last year, we had a dinner at Nana's Kitchen. Oh, okay. Yes, and it, and it was really great what they did for us. Um, did you make it, Sean? I did I not. I was working that night, right. and um, I believe that you guys didn't it did a... Um, Either a tequila or another pairing with that dinner. Right. Because um, there was a bottle for sale at that time. There was lots of pairings that night, believe it or not, <laughs> if you know Nana's Kitchen. Uh, they definitely have uh, great service far, uh, with the food and 
the beverage, alcohol beverages. I mean, um, Marco out there is, one, uh, again, was one of the bartenders of the month, too, uh, last year. And another great person to get to know and, and go visit. Olivia, where would you like them to take you for dinner at the end of the year? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Have some input here. Don't, <laughs> don't let these guys figure know. it out by themselves. <laughs> well, what's one? Give me one of the questions we always ask newbies on the show: is two or three of their favorite places to eat at that's not their own place. And don't say Chili's. <laughs> it's got to be local. Oh my gosh! Well, monsoons. Is, okay, is really fair enough. There. Uh, so monsoons Carrier. over by Costco. Uh, mm-hmm. Costco. Uh, what do you like there? What do you? What, what, if I what, what which I order there to eat at monsoons? Jalapeno poppers. Okay. Here's to heat. One of my favorites. I love the whole menu, but I love Adam and Carrie more than anything. Adam, Carrie, and Danny are like my second set of parents. Okay. All three of them. <laughs> Look at you, a bartender raised by bar owners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are wonderful. <laughs> What's another place? Nana's is really good. Okay. I'm a big fan. You know, you talk about the service. When you walk in, you just feel at home. They do a really good job of making you feel that way. Where's Nana's for the rookies out there? Is it Cortero? Cortero, north side of Cortero, just west of I-10. Courtney Page right there by the Mr. Car Wash. You can't miss it. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very cool. It's across from the Walmart. All right. That's the easy way to put How it. How do they join this uh, this um, secret club of yours? <laughs> we can, you can find us on Facebook and just ask to join. If you're a business, uh, I always ask to join for your business page so that your business page shows on the members list. Do you have uh, to be a Facebook member to find out about the Marana Brewery Club? Uh, most, yes. And that what a snob. Or, or the web, web, <laughs> we have a website, oh, too. Oh, excellent. Website, What's that? Yeah. And the website describes, uh, if you're looking at it oh. now, you can read our mission statement there. You can see all the bartenders of the month from the past. It, it's really easy. It's MoranaBreweryClub.com. Yes. yes nice and we do, cra- we do Craft Beer of the Week also. So we put that on our website and Facebook and Instagram. You know, so it's, and again, um, it's a hard question for me to answer where I'm going to take this, but I know that uh, people like it and we're just going with the flow right now. And it, it I guess, uh, um, changes, you know, in different directions, how, how we want to go with it, you know? Okay. So, well, keep going, yeah. keep going the good work. What were you going to say? It's nice on the website. You can see all the restaurants and what discounts you get oh, per okay. restaurant. So, you know, Frankie's is on there and you get a 10% discount there and all the other ones that are participating, you see what you get. A lot of times it's food or drinks and food or, you know, discount of your whole bill, but it'll break it all down on the website, even if you're not on Facebook. Well, in this day and age, the extra 10% is even more worthwhile mm-hmm. than ever. Yes. Well, the best part about it is, like, you tip 30%. Well, you're getting 10% back. It's going to the server or the waitress, the, the 30%? Bartender. Look at you, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we talked about this earlier. You start at 30. If you get crappy service, you go down to 20. If you get really, really bad, you go down to 10. You can't go lower than 10 because then you just look cheap. Right. <laughs> no matter how bad the service is. <laughs> Olivia? Great to see you again. Thank you for having me. And what's the hours of operation for Frankie's? Um, let's see. Monday through Saturday, 11 to 8, and Sunday, 11 to 5. Awesome. Football Sundays also? Yep. Next year, we will have the full ticket. Everything. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Well, keep, keep keep doing the good work, man. You're doing all the all the good little things that makes the experience right. So. Thank you. I appreciate you saying so. Great seeing you. <laughs> Thank Patrick. You. Thank you. Good to see both you guys. Stay out of Thank trouble. Oh, MoranaBreweryClub.com yes. Or catch him on the old waste book. Got to get like Fernando to say more next time. Fernando, <laughs> very shy. It's like the Beatles; he's the shy one. So, all right, everyone, have a great weekend. Keep, Thank keep you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Sean. When we come back, we're just.